Yes. Wow, what a great find, like two minutes in the water. What is going on guys? Back out here in Hawaii with it in the water like two minutes. My dad already caught a really nice octopus. This is the second time we've been out here this year because the first time we came out here, we only got to make just a handful of videos for the whole time we were here because the conditions were so rough. There were storms. Look at that guy. It's a good one. That is a good one. It's a two pounder. Yeah, we had storms, the conditions were rough. We had one time where the storm was so bad, it pulled a boat from its anchor and washed the boat up on shore here. So um, it was really tough. So we're back out here again though to film another Hawaii series. And this octopus, what do you think we're gonna, should we cook it up? Use it for bait? Half, and, know, half, half and half? Let's do half and half. So we got our little octopus in a tide pool right here. We're about to clean him. He's just hanging out. So we are going to dispatch this guy real quick. Quickest way to kill these, they have a nerve right between the eye that we just go, and he's dead. That simple, that easy. And even though it's still moving, this actually, this octopus will move for like 30 or 45 minutes after it, uh, even after it's dead. Maybe not 45 minutes, like 30 minutes max, but it'll still be moving and changing color. And the only have to do to gut an octopus, super simple. I just go and kind of cut along some of the membranes right there. And then you just grab, there we go. And then we just pulled, oh, got a couple more things here. It's really important to get the ink, ink sac out of there because we found that if the ink sac leaks into the octopus skin, fish will not bite it. Like even though he's like, has no head and stuff, he's still moving around, still changing color. And we're just gonna, I, I just, uh, when I'm preparing my octopus, just cut all the tentacles off cut it up lock so it's really easy to prepare and there is the beak right there guys can you open it <laughs> like it's kind of hard yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's, it's a good little beak though it can uh, crush crabs they eat tons of crabs um, I don't know what else they eat besides crabs in those shells there, oh, there he goes it opened all right that's cool don't want to get bit by that either we've gotten bit a few times yeah, he'll take a, actually just pull a plug it, it'll like yeah a nice little round plug out of your skin i mean not not that big it's like small but they'll they'll take a plug out of you <laughs> and there we go guys a cleaned octopus we 
we've got this parts here which are great for bait or we could use that in a crab trap if we wanted and then we got all the tentacles great fish bait great for eating i think we're gonna eat some uh octopus this evening all right guys our octopus is frozen so we're gonna get out of the freezer in just a second but first we will scoop some salt water right out of the ocean into our pot here the reason why I'm getting salt water for boiling up the octopus is because the last couple times I've tried cooking this octopus, I either make the salt too salty and then the octopus just tastes super salty or I don't put enough salt in the water and a lot of the, almost all the flavor of the octopus leaches out into the water and it just tastes like nothing. So I thought, you know, whatever. The, uh, if you guys watch one of the videos uh, when I boiled up crabs, I boiled up crabs straight in the salt water. Mwah. Tasted amazing. So I thought I'm gonna try the same thing with octopus. Just boil it up in water from the ocean so the salinity is perfect. Let's add this to the hot stove top. Just for fun, let's add some lemon to the salty water. Then we'll grab our frozen octopus. Pull out three frozen tentacles. Then I'm gonna cut this octopus into chunks right now because octopus is way easier to cut up while it is frozen than when it's all soft and malleable. Now we will add it to the boiling water. Now we're gonna let this octopus boil for 30 minutes. If you guys watched the last Octopus Catch and Cook, you already know where this is going. Last time I did an Octopus Catch and Cook, tried it three different ways. We did the microwave, that was terrible. Funny, but terrible. We fried it in butter. That one tasted good, but the, the texture was still way too rubbery. Then we boiled some in uh, spices. The boiled one was very tender, but the flavor wasn't very good. And we came to the conclusion that if we combine the two, if we boil it first, get the tenderness, then fry it up in butter, it should taste mwah. So that is why we gotta boil it first, then we'll break out the frying pan. 30 minutes later and we will remove the octopus from the stove and strain it. Now that the octopus is tender, we'll start the frying process. And to do that, we need Cut up some garlic, some onion, butter, olive oil, garlic, diced onions. Then we add the octopi. I'm glad I did three legs because these shrunk considerably in that boiling water. Then we'll add some salt and some pepper. We'll add some tortillas to a frying pan just to crisp them up. All right guys, funny thing I forgot to tell you is we're actually making octopus tacos. And look at this, look how small of a portion we got from those three octopus legs. Those were big legs, but they shrunk probably to half their size. So we, we barely have uh, you know enough octopus for, for two of us. But my dad's gonna make a taco first. So let me see how you make your taco. So we're gonna make a taco taco. Yes, a taco taco. Guys, in Hawaii, octopus are called taco, T-A-K-O. And so we're making taco taco. Right or I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can okay. stack it however you want. Yeah, you if you want to put some of those onions and yeah, uh, garlic in there too. Onions, 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 onions. Onions. Just kind of like fish. I'm just going to put uh -huh, it yeah, just in there how I want it. There we go. There we go. I figured, guys, this is, we've never done this before, in case you're wondering. Give this a try. A little lettuce and some mater. I do some mayo. Yes, you love mayo. I do like the mayo. All right. Beautiful. So I made mine basically exactly like you did yours. <laughs> so we're gonna try this. We have to be honest. We can't be like, oh, let's. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll we're one. If you guys are new to this channel, we're always one hundred percent honest with everything, yeah. from the frogs, the octopus, the fish, everything in between. Taco, taco, going down for the first time. I'll wait. Here we go. I like the first bite. Let me mm -hmm. try another one. And Not I had, bad. I had uh, octopus in there, so. Now, I do have to say, this is the best piece of octopus. This is the best octopus oh, yeah. I've ever cooked so definitely, far. Definitely, definitely. I'm oh, still yeah. not 10 out of 10 on this. I think next time I'm going to boil it for about 10 minutes more to get even more tender where it just like 
It's good. Iron's good too. I did it. You did it. This is this is the fourth octopus sketch and cook. Mm. Guys, we only have ever cooked a few tentacles at a time. We never just throw the whole octopus in because I'm still learning. And I realized what the problem was in these past videos. I was reading recipes for cooking like Pacific octopus and different mm -hmm. ones, which are way different than just the day tacos that we have here in Hawaii. They're mm -hmm. smaller and, you know, just probably, it's like anything, like the flesh of them is just different. Mm -hmm. And all the recipes I'm seeing are like Pacific octopus or maybe ones that are catching the Atlantic or whatever, or, mm -hmm. or Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying these recipes and going, these aren't really working out. Right. And so for cooking Hawaiian octopus, mm, boil for 30, good. maybe even a little bit more. I'm not sure if boiling. I'd go a little more first time, a little less the next time. Okay. Or take, take one tentacle out in like 25 minutes and take another one out 35 mm -hmm. minutes. So you know which one. That, but this is good. Mm -hmm. The flavor is fantastic. And the, the, the texture is really, really good. It's the best by far. Excellent. Well, I feel like this is one of the first successful cook octopuses right. that being done. Yeah, yeah. Redemption, huh? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We've got so many more Hawaii adventures coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one.